The PlayStation Store is running a fantastic September saving sale right now. They're also running a big in Japan sale. So those two sales coupled together offering some fantastic deals on a litany of PlayStation 4 games. Specifically in today's videos, we're going to be looking at the deals available as a part of the September savings sale. And specifically, 10 games under the price of $10. A lot of these games are lower budget titles. They're indie games. However, there are some marquee titles in here as well. Try to put a mix of both games that I've mentioned before. Games that are a little bit more unknown to a lot of you guys. So first up, we have Just Cause 3, which is 70% off for $5.99. Now, Just Cause is one of those games that I feel like anybody can pick up and find some enjoyment out of. It's a game that doesn't require a ton of investment. You can just jump into the open world, have a lot of fun, wreck havoc, cause a lot of chaos, blow a lot of stuff up. It's a lot of fun. Now, it's not a game that's going to enamor you from the narrative. It's not about that. It's about the gameplay, and Just Cause 3 has that in space. Now, of course, Just Cause 4 has been released, although that game is still going for a hefty, you know, $30 or $20 on sale. And even then, I feel like Just Cause 3 is the better game. Just Cause 4 was one of those titles that I really feel like was a step backwards from the previous game. And that's why Just Cause 3 for 6 bucks, it's such a good buy, and I would highly recommend it if you do want a fun open world to get into. Next up, we do have Lords of the Fallen Complete Edition. This was a Souls-like action game done by the guys over at Deck 13, and Deck 13 are quite talented at this point they've put out lords of the fallen and they've also put out the surge and they're about to release the surge to in just under a week lords of the fallen was their first game and yes it's not as strong as the surge and i imagine that the surge 2 is going to be an even stronger game but lords of the fallen does have some unique elements now as i mentioned at the top of talking about this game these do see a lot of comparisons to the souls like game are they as strong no however it does offer a lot to like and there are some unique characteristics specifically with the digital complete edition you do get the full base game you get the ancient labyrinth dlc you get the monk decipher quest the demonic weapons pack the lionheart pack the arcane boost one and the foundation boost so some additional content you can get the base game for four dollars but paying an extra two bucks and getting some additional content i think is pretty well worth it and lords of the fallen again one of those games that i feel like is rather enjoyable especially given it's a low low price point next up here's a game that i always go to bat for and that is night school student Studios Oxen Free. It is 40% off for $5.99. This was a game that I played originally when it came out, and I had an absolute great time with it. It was done by people that actually worked on games such as the Telltale titles, and you can see that shine through. This is very much a narrative-driven game, light on the gameplay, but what's interesting about this one is that it's really a coming-of-age story, so it really gives you some nostalgic elements to how you grow up, interacted with people in, say, your teenage years, and it's very relatable in that sense given how the characters interact with one another now the story itself introduces some supernatural elements and that's probably not as relatable unless you had a pretty funky time growing up but nonetheless a great story here really good cast of characters and for just six dollars which is actually a little bit more expensive than it used to be when it goes on sale they actually lowered the digital price of this down to 9.99 used to be 19.99 but now when it goes on sale it's only 40 percent off instead of 75 percent off kind of strange how that works. I keep an eye on these little things, and that's just something I picked up on. Nonetheless, Oxen Free is still worth a $6 price point. It's a great buy. Next up, for those of you that like shoot 'em ups, I really want to recommend Housemark's Next Machina. Next Machina is an awesome game. It's an explosive twin stick arcade shooter, and it has that old school gaming style at its finest, but at the same time, it also has these modern particle effects and modern visual styles that makes it incredibly enticing to a modern gamer as well. The game's got over 100 challenges levels in six different intense worlds, secret paths, levels, and humans, local cooperative multiplayer, which is always nice, a deep scoring system, rich metagame and replayability, specifically tailored feats and achievements, community and friend leaderboards, and a lot of other additional content to keep you coming back. Now, this game released all the way back in 2017, and it's still going for $9.99. Might be seen as a little bit hefty of a price point, given the fact that it did originally release at $19.99. However, Housemark is such an awesome studio, even though they have seemingly moved away from games like this and they're working on other titles. Housemark is still one of those studios that I am definitely going to go to bat for whenever their legacy games go on sale, but $9.99 for Next Machina, really good buy here. Next up, this is a game that I talk quite a bit about, but Deus Ex Mankind Divided is 85% off for $4.49. Now, when I talk about Mankind Divided, usually I talk about the fact that I was a little bit disappointed by this game. Not necessarily because it's a bad game, far from it. I wouldn't recommend it if it was a bad game, but I just had astronomically high expectations for 
for it. I loved Deus Ex Human Revolution. I thought that was a phenomenal game and hearing that Deus Ex was coming back on current generation platform and you had this technically groundbreaking title being released on the PlayStation 4, I was excited and a lot of the elements were incredibly strong in this. The visuals are stunning, the gameplay is really good and definitely a step up over Human Revolution. However, Mankind Divided really falters from a storytelling standpoint and that's the element of the game that just isn't as strong and of course for a story driven title like this, that is a little bit of a hindrance. However, that is just me being a little bit disappointed by the game. If you just go into it expecting a quality action RPG, that expectation is definitely going to be met and at $4.49, you're not paying that initial $60 that I paid for it and it's still a high quality title and I would strongly recommend it. Next up, here is a fantastic game with a great art style, SteamWorld Dig 2. Now, the first SteamWorld Dig is on sale and it's much cheaper than SteamWorld Dig 2. SteamWorld Dig 2 is 50% off for $9.99. I believe the first game was like three bucks. Whatever the case may be, SteamWorld Dig 2 is a phenomenal game and a sizable step up from its predecessor. SteamWorld Dig 2 takes you on a platform mining adventure forged in Metroidvania flames when an old trading town is struck by a mysterious earthquakes. It's up to a lone steam bot and her unlikely companion to uncover what trembling terrors lie beneath. The gameplay actually has a little bit of nuance to it. The art style is fantastic and it's got a lot of replayability attached to it as well. For $9.99, it's a fantastic pickup and another game I would give a strong recommendation to. If you do want to go the cheaper route and check out the first title, I'm not going to hold that against you, but the second game is quite a big step up. Next up, it seems like every year we're getting rumors about Rockstar Games one day making a bully too, so why not go back and see what all the fuss is about with the first bully, which is 40% off for $8.99. Now, what is amazing about bully, I really can't put my finger on it. However, it's such a unique aspect for a game. With the Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, you take on the role of this over-the-top main character that is a little bit of a role that a lot of us are never going to find ourselves in. At least I hope you don't find yourself in, in the case of Grand Theft Auto. In the case of Bully, it is a little bit more relatable of an experience, although it definitely does have its over-the-top elements as well. It's got a similar style to Rockstar gameplay, but it has you play as a mischievous schoolboy. You'll stand up to the bullies, get picked on by teachers, play pranks, win or lose the girl, and ultimately learn to navigate the obstacles of the worst school around, Bullworth Academy. At $8.99, it's still a hefty price point given that it is a PS2 game originally, but still, it's updated somewhat for the PlayStation 4, and it's a game that I would say is iconic by today's standards, so I would go back and give it a look, especially for those reasons. Next up, we've got Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition. That is 75% off for $3.74. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like Guacamelee 2 is on sale, and Guacamelee 2 is a game that I would compare similarly to SteamWorld Dig 2 in that it is such a considerable improvement upon the first game, but in the case of Guacamelee, the first game is still really good and offers a lot to like. It's a very charming Metroidvania title, has a great art style, great atmosphere, and it's a Metroidvania style action platformer set in a magical world inspired by traditional Mexican culture and folklore. Get ready for non-stop fighting action and an extensive move list including Intenso and the Rooster Uppercut. It's zany, it's a little bit off the wall, but it's a lot of fun nonetheless and 75% off for $3.74 is great. Okay, it seems like we're mentioning a lot of Metroidvania titles, so how about we mention one more? Axiom Verge is 50% off for $9.99. Now, this is a game that released almost four and a half years ago, so it being only 50% off at $9.99, maybe that's a little bit off putting, but bear in mind that this was a game done by one person and Thomas Happen. Wow, the detail in this game is staggering given that it was done by one person. It's got a very old school look to it. However, it's incredibly captivating still. And I find like visually it's a game that ages really, really well. It's an action adventure you've been waiting decades for. After a lab accident, a scientist awakens in a mysterious alien world. Is this a distant planet, the far future, or a complex virtual reality computer simulation? That is for you to uncover. Plumb the recesses of a large labyrinth world in order to learn its secrets and uncover your role within it. If you're a fan of games like Castlevania, Metroid, all that good stuff, Axiom Ridge is going to be right up your alley. And again, $9.99 is a little hefty, but it's absolutely worth that. And Thomas Hab definitely deserves a lot of credit for this one. It was critically really well received when it came out. Commercially, it seemingly did pretty well, but at this point, a lot of people have forgotten about it. I would definitely give you a recommendation to go back and pick up Axiom Ridge because it's a phenomenal game. And lastly, do want to give a shout to Rise of the Tomb Raider 20-year celebration, which is 84% off for $9.59. Kind of a weird arbitrary percentage off for this game, but nonetheless, Rise of the Tomb Raider, in my opinion, is the best Tomb Raider game of all time. You can look at the entire history and legacy of Tomb Raider. I think ever since the reboot, the games have seen a substantial improvement, but Rise of the Tomb Raider, I think, is better than Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and I think it's better than every Tomb Raider game that 
came before it. That's for a wide variety of reasons. The gameplay is incredibly strong. There's a lot of content for a Tomb Raider game, and the 20 Year Celebration Edition does have a lot of additional content, and the story's rather good as well. It's not like Tomb Raider is known for incredible narratives throughout, but Rise of the Tomb Raider did have a pretty solid narrative with a quality main villain as well, and of course, the other cast of characters is pretty strong as well. For $9.59, it's an awesome buy. We initially had to wait a year to get Rise of the Tomb Raider on the PlayStation 4, had an exclusive launch on the Xbox One, came out shortly thereafter on PC, and it took us so long to get it on PS4 that it seemingly lost a little bit of its luster, but if you've yet to play it, I would go back and give it a look because it is a high-quality title. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, the September savings sale is going on right now, and a ton of great deals are available as a part of that, and a lot of great games are available super cheap. As you see, 10 awesome games under the price of $10. There are other titles that we weren't able to mention. The Life is Strange Complete Season is available for like 4 bucks, and there's a ton of deals available, even deals above $10. A Plague Tale Innocence is down to 30 bucks, and that is a great deal for a game that's a super recent release. So that's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.